Alrighty, next up is more complex queries, okay? Let's just practice queries. I hope that you're getting this because this is it for GraphQL, like that's it. Maybe your resolvers are gonna get a little bit more complicated because you have to go to the database and you have to look for something and then you have to return it or whatever, but this is basically the gist of it, okay? You have three types that are uh, already defined, queries, mutations, and subscriptions. Right now we're only looking at queries. And then you can create as many types as you want, of whatever. It doesn't matter, okay? It's just whatever you want. So, let's make more complex queries, all right? So, we're going to call this, let's, let's define it here, people, all right? And, but people sense is person, uh, person, yeah, person, all right? But people doesn't send only one person. People sense many people, many persons, all right? So, this means that person is an array. We send many of them. And this means it's required. This means that I have to return something. I have to return an array, all right? It's required. It's not no. It could be optional. We will see later. And now I want to only get one person, all right? But for this, I want to get, um, I need an ID, right? I need to be able to get only one person by their ID. So what I need to do is say, define it here. I could be, this could be whatever. This could be a person ID or ID or potato. All right, and potato, the type that we're looking for is int because we want the person to send us person potato one. That she needs to ID. Person ID one, all right? And we're going to return the person that we found. In this case, as you can see, I'm not putting this here because maybe we won't find that person, okay? So we have to leave it like that. That is one of the things, all right? Maybe we won't find that person. So. Let's modify our queries. We have people and we have person. So people and person. Now I'm going to make an array, people. And this will be a array of Nicholas stuff. And people, I'm going to say that people returns people. Of course, that's an array, no problem. But also, I want to make person now. Before I do this, Let's try to be able to see if people works, okay? I'm gonna pause and I'm going to add uh, many users. I'll be right back. All right, now I've got all these people, so let's check that people works, all right? Now I'm gonna refresh this thing here, of course, and I'm gonna, as you can see, it doesn't work anymore. It's telling me that it doesn't exist. This is an awesome tool, Playground, I love Playground. So now we have two types of queries. Let's see which queries do we have. We have people, which returns a person, or we have person, which requires an ID, which is an integer and returns a person. As you can see, it's super straightforward. And it's very nice to know the types of the data that you're gonna get. Is it a stream? Is it an integer? Is it a date? Is it a float? Whatever. So person doesn't work, people works, all right? And I cannot do this because it doesn't work. I need to select what do I want from each person. What do I want? In this case, you know what? I only want the name, fuck it. So now I have a array with name, Nicholas, Jisoo, Japan Guy, Dal, JD, Mundari, and Flynn. As you can see, it's awesome, right? I know I'm not requiring everything on my database. I'm just requiring the name, all right? Only we return the whole array. We return the whole array in GraphQL is the one that is going to select the fields for us when we ask her to do so. Name and, can we do this? No, it's the same thing. Age, yep, gender, yep. If you're wondering how am I pressing play, I press command and enter means play, okay? As you can see, this is great shit, okay? And you know what? I didn't give them an ID, fuck. So, I need an ID. I'm gonna give them an ID here, fuck it, one, one. No. Ah, idiot. One, let's do, can I do this? Yes. Two, I'm gonna pause. All right, so I've done this like this, and that's it, but this became too big. So I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna call this folder database. It's bullshit, fuck. This is not the one I was looking for. Uh, database, db, 
whatever. And here I'm going to just do DBJS, I guess. Or not just index. You know what? No, fuck it. Just a file here, db.js. That is better. All right. So now, oh my God. All right. So now here on db.js, I'm going to copy this. And we're good to go. Okay. And I'm going to export everything, of course. And now on resolvers, we don't, we can import people from db. And we're good to go. All right. Now, these people have IDs. Let's test it. ID. Wow, refresh. What happened, boy? Oh, it doesn't work again because I didn't describe it. ID is an integer. All right, as you can see, I need to describe stuff. All right, this is super awesome. Let's see. Oh, here. No demon has some weird shit. Because whenever I save JavaScript, no daemon works. But when I save GraphQL, no daemon doesn't take it. Maybe because GraphQL is seen as text, I don't know. All right, so as you can see now, I can request the ID and it's working. ID, 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 which is great. All right, now the point will be to query only this one for the ID. And like I told you, you don't need to have any kind of special database backend. As long as you return what you are telling him to return, you're good. So this means that here I'm going to make a new function get by ID. All right. And here I'm going to get an ID. All right. And all I have to do is just filter the movies. All right. So I'm going to return filtered get movie by ID. Filtered movies. And I'm going to say movies that filter each one of the movies, movie, not movie, sorry. Filtered people. People, filter, person, right? And I'm gonna return the person that has an ID that is equals to the, this one, okay? So I'm gonna give an ID here. ID is gonna check, I'm gonna I'm going to check all the objects inside of the people array. Okay. And I'm going to return the one that has the same ID as the ID that I'm giving it. And I'm going to return the first one. What happened? Unexpected token. Return. Ah. All right, done, get by ID, okay? This is very simple. If it's better for you to do it like this, no problem. This is very simple um, array operation. Filter means you're gonna go through all of them and you're gonna return the one that does this condition. So I'm going to go through all of the people on this array and I am going to give the one that has this condition. That's it. Let's go, let's export this. And now here I will just do person all right and this is something that we haven't talked about yet and here i'm going to return get by id but geez how do i know which id am i asking for how can i ask for ids how can i put stuff on the query how i will see you on the next one with the answer bye bye